I think that's a new face on this movie's call. It's good to see. Uh, Chris Russell, founder of HR Lancers. That's Alyssa. She's our brand ambassador down there in Texas. And um, why don't we start off with Alice, who's on the line? Uh, Bob, we'll start with you. Where are you coming from and what do you do? I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm an HR business partner for a um, gaming company. Okay. Uh, all right, Scott's on the line. Who's got? Where are you calling from? Sorry, I done mute. I'm calling from the Dallas, Texas area, and uh, I'm director for a company called Holcher Services. We service the railroads. Okay. Uh, Adam, how about you? Tanya. Tanya. Hi, hi there. I'm calling from Dallas, Texas. I just started my own uh, company called Rare Find Search Consultants, and it's just me, myself, and I in, in my apartment. Awesome. Awesome. Well, welcome. Glad, uh, Thank you. Glad could join today. How did you all hear about, uh, for the newbies here, um, Scott, uh, Tanya, Adam, Bob, how'd you hear about uh, HR Lancers? I saw an FB post on the networking group that you and I are on, the recruiting networking group, and someone had reached out saying they were looking for work, and you said, try out HR Lancers, and I had never heard of it, so I looked it up, and you and I have a lot of common connects in Dallas, so I thought, you're legit. <laughs> <laughs> you're legit. It's really just good, as I said. Um, well, that's, that's great. That's good to hear. Um, by the way, everybody, if you want to throw your uh, you, uh, LinkedIn URLs in the chat there so we can all connect with each other. Uh, feel free to do that. I just threw mine up there in case we're not connected yet overall. Um, so feel free to do that. Um, quick show notes uh, before we start getting rolling here. So I think our next show is going to be on April 9th, which is in two weeks. And uh, we're going to have uh, Suzanne Lucas. She is a pretty famous HR blogger talking about how to get started blogging in HR. Um, she's uh, been blogging for years under the evil HR lady. Um, name, so you may have heard of her around that, and so she's going to come on and tell us how she got started, and kind of tips and tricks around blogging itself, so looking forward to that in a couple weeks. I haven't posted the show yet, but I will uh, get some updated uh, in the next few days, and we'll get that uh, pushed out to everyone through email and stuff, and uh, of course the, the website as well. Um, all these virtual events, there's an events tab on hrlancers.com, if you haven't seen it, that's where I'll put all the kind of home base for for all the links that we do overall. All right. Um, so, so today we're going to talk about favorite HR apps for people. Um, I have four um, I brought to the table today. I'll kind of show you through a screen share. And I hope that you guys have brought at least one or two of your own to share to the group as well. I want this to be kind of an interactive discussion. I want to learn myself. Um, I hopefully teach you some tools that I have to use. Um, I've been financing for probably about 20 years now, uh, give or take. Um, aside from a couple of years in, in corporate HR, but um, I work from home pretty much uh, religiously and um, I use a lot of different technologies to leverage my time and, uh, and uh, the, the resources that I need to do to do my job. Overall. So that's what today's show is all about. So let's get started by sharing my screen here. Uh, we've got some new people on the call as well. Let's get to those first. Uh, hey, Javiana, good to see you. Want to say hello? Uh, hello, how are you, Chris? How is it going? <laughs> Good. All right. And uh, John Z's here. Hey, John Z. Is that right? I'm calling in from Columbia, South Carolina. Columbia, South Carolina. Very good. Um, who else is here? Orrin Davis. Where are you from? I want to say hello. New York City. Hey, all right. NYC in the house. Um, cool. All right. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. And uh, for your uh, chat there. So let me share my screen and uh, we'll get going. By the way, um, before we start that, how is everyone, um, what effects are you guys seeing from these, this whole virus stuff? I know there's a bunch of layoffs happening right now. Um, I've lost one client already. So I'm curious what you guys, what's happening with you guys, if anyone wants to just kind of uh, say something in terms of. Um, uh, how they feel or what's happening with their business overall right now. I'm curious. I just began to innovate a lot more. Um, I was 
currently um, in between leaving my company and um, doing my own thing and looking for other opportunities. Not quite ready to go full freelancer yet, but doing some things on the side. And I just, this is a time just for innovation because there's nothing else to do, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, definitely, definitely the case. Anybody else want to say something? Oh, I've definitely seen a decline in clients moving forward. Um, but just like what Jadiana said, just staying innovative um, and reassessing what I do and what I offer. <laughs> Uh, are, definitely a lot of that. You, uh, what are they telling you? I've heard a lot of stuff. Hiring's on hold. Not necessarily they're laying off on hold. Yeah. On hold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of clients I do projects for, um, the projects that they were working on don't matter as much yep. right now. <laughs> yep. yeah. Yeah, there's been a big backlash, not a big backlash, but I've seen on Twitter and Facebook some uh, recruiters and HR people are saying, hey, if you're an HR tech vendor, stop emailing me about your demo and, and all this other stuff. And uh, I get it, you know, it's, it's uh, they're too distracted right now with everything else. Um, so it's not a good time to be marketing um, anything to HR at this point um, because they're so, uh, they're so scared right now and they're just, they're just waiting to see what happens. So I think that it's a good time to, like you said, uh, think about your own uh, skill set, maybe learn something new um, in writing, uh, just stay busy and, and uh, you know, maybe fix some stuff that needs fixing and um, and kind of uh, just get get ready for when it when it ends and it will end I think um, but um, it's definitely an interesting time to be a, be a consultant in HR. What I, I just want to this is Tanya I just wanted to say what I've been doing is just going through my connections on LinkedIn my first connects and saying thank you thank you for being uh, a connection of mine and if there's anything I can do for you I'm here I'm approaching it that way That's and I'm getting a, I'm getting a really good response on that and you know with my little page on rare uh, rare find on LinkedIn um, I think I hit a hundred today and that was like so exciting a hundred followers right. So, and, and I'm getting them because of that, just simply saying thank you. And when things settle down, they'll, they'll remember that thank you, hopefully. Yeah, be helpful. I mean, uh, that's really all you can do right now. Um, I was uh, emailing today with a client and he's, looking, he's actually looking for some HR tech stuff. So I just give him the advice over email. Um, and I'm just trying to be as helpful as possible, sharing, sharing interesting links and data out there uh, for, the, uh, for the market. So I think it's, a, it's an important point to make. It's a, it's a great, um, Great tactic, Tanya. Hi, uh, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, this is Adam. Sorry, you called on me uh, a couple of minutes ago and I couldn't get to you. Um, oh, yeah. Yep, so I'm based in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. My company's uh, Blaze HR. Um, been doing consulting for about five years. Yep, so I, I came across uh, a link posted in a Facebook group. I think it's HR discussion or HR consulting discussion USA. Um, the admin Jackie, she had posted about it, and I was interested to see what's new with the apps. Yeah, Jackie O'Keefe. That other, that other is, uh, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, she messaged me. So I wanted to know uh, what's new uh, with the apps that uh, that other uh, consultants or freelancers are using nowadays. Excellent. All right. Thanks. Cool. All right, so let's uh, let me share my screen here, and I'll show you what I got. So I'll start out with uh, what I do for for invoicing. Um, I'm sure you all have a particular tool you use, but I use something called GoDaddy Bookkeeping. Anybody ever hear of it? Nope. All right, so. Yeah, it's a new one on me. Get to here. Can you see my screen? Yes. All right, yeah, so this is GoDaddy Bookkeeping. So I pay about 110 bucks a year for this. So it's pretty cheap, it's like 10 bucks a month. And I've been using it for at least four years now, roughly. Um, it's a very, very simple bookkeeping app. Yeah, I'm a one-man company. I like to keep things simple. And I've used stuff like QuickBooks before. I find it to be a little too more complicated than this. This is much more simple than overall. So for a one-man business, it's perfect for me um, because of the simplicity of it. Um, it does my taxes as far as giving me a Schedule C at the end of the year. I connect all my bank accounts and credit cards to it, and it tracks all that for me on an ongoing basis overall. So this is a this is their um, demo page here. 
um, you kind of get a sense of what it looks like overall. So when you log in, you'll see your, your P&L, and just kind of um, uh, you have the bar charts here. Uh, they'll show your open invoices. Uh, they show if your invoice has been viewed or not viewed, which is a nice feature. Um, you can tell when somebody's actually opened it versus when they haven't seen it yet. You can even ping them if they haven't. Um, it, show, it, it calculates your taxes, possibly, for your quarterly stuff, um, if you're doing that, uh, which is a nice feature. Um, more expenses, it, it uh, tracks everything on your credit card, if everything you know, goes through your bank account. Uh, you can do mileage on here as well, so you add in your mileage for stuff. On the invoicing side, it has uh, you know regular invoices. You can do recurring invoices as well, monthly, quarterly. Um, so I have a few of those clients to throw in there. I haven't used the time portion because I don't do a lot of hourly work, but that's there as well. And they've got lots of reports to help uh, run stuff. I'm not sure if this works or not. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've been using this for a number of years. Pretty happy with it. Um, overall, it's got um, literally some of the uh, invoices haven't been syncing right with the payments. So I'm not sure if there's a problem there, but for the most part, it does its job. It gets to stay on top of it a little bit as far as just making sure that. Uh, you know, the invoicing, when they do get paid, are actually marked paid on the site. Uh, occasionally, sometimes that breaks. And sometimes the connection to your bank account, depending on the bank, uh, can get a little wonky. But uh, for the most part, it does a pretty good job for me overall. Um, so again, it's a pretty cheap tool. And um, I like it for its simplicity overall. So I just log in. I can see my profit right away. I can see my invoices right away. And it's a really simple tool uh, to help me do my job. So. You know, a lot of, you know, it's a pretty good tool overall. Don't know a lot of bad to say about it, other than those few little, little tweaks I mentioned. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty nice little uh, useful tool. I want to keep things simple, which I'm all about. I hate paperwork. And um, I've used like, QuickBooks, to me, it was too complicated. It was more like a, for an accountant, if you will. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel about stuff like that, but um, this is a much simpler cash in, cash out system here um, that um, will, will simplify your your invoicing and your, and your billing, all that stuff. So that's my first one overall. Any, any questions around it? <clears throat> no? All right, so my next tool is a marketing tool. And this one's called Ripple. So I do a lot of social media marketing for my clients overall. Um, I do some uh, social media marketing for an employer and an HR tech vendor. And so Ripple is probably my probably my favorite tool out of all everything I'm sharing today. It's a marketing tool in your pocket. Um, it's ten, it's a, the pro version is ten bucks a month, well worth the money if you do get it. Um, it is basically a uh, it creates images and videos based on pictures and templates that they have. You can see here um, how it looks. So if you're if you need a flyer, if you need a little uh, uh, um, collage video if you need a uh, um, slide share uh, kind of a slide share video it does that for you you can change the font on it you can choose more like templates it even has music in there so it's got all this royalty free music most of it's like just uh, instrumental um, and um, I'll show you an example of this so overall so here's one I did for uh, emissary it's one of my clients they're a texture printing company uh, in New York and um, this video here, which you can see on LinkedIn, I did that uh, last week. And so basically I cobbled together the, uh, the images on Dropbox on my phone. I made the images first. I then opened the app up, put those images on the app for a particular project. And uh, it also gives you a little, um, some wording you can put underneath each picture you can see there. Uh, so start texting in 24 hours. I wrote that in there along with the picture, book a demo, and I added that along with the picture, and I had their logo in, it, logo in at the end there overall. And there's music that plays behind this if you wanted to listen to it later on. Um, pretty slick app. Uh, it really will make your social media uh, a lot better looking, um, and you can really kind of build it into your brand, right? You can choose the coloring and all these things um, using hex, those hex, hex numbers for colors. Uh, you can throw your logo up there, uh, or you can choose some of the different templates that they have. They have if, you, if you do a restaurant, any kind of restaurant marketing, um, any kind of business, really, there's all kinds of templates built into it for that. Um, it's a really good tool 
to uh, um, do your marketing with. Um, so it's ripl.com is the URL. I'll throw links in the chat after I'm done um, so you can have a, see a link to them overall. Um, but um, they have a free version. Um, you can see the different templates here that uh, you can do beautiful branded videos. Um, and uh, it's a bit, it, it also syncs to your social media from within the app. So you just connect your socials within the app. And with one button, you can just push out every single uh, channel you have from Instagram to Twitter. Um, you can also schedule them as well. Um, so you use like, it's like buffer plus, you know, uh, creating all the video stuff essentially. Uh, so a really nice tool, 10 bucks a month and uh, well worth the money if you do any kind of marketing as well. All right, my uh, last tool is Tiny Scanner. So I'm sure you guys all have to sign stuff and send it back. And uh, I just discovered this one probably within the last three months and uh, it's five bucks. It's available for Google Play or uh, Apple. And uh, you take a picture on your phone with the app. It turns it into a PDF that you can then immediately email to anybody or message to anybody. Um, it's a really cool tool. Uh, you can even do multiple pages, you know, create it all to one file. Um, so until this app, I was using my printer, you know, one page at a time, take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on. pain in the ass. Uh, but this app will save you tons of time and hassle, and you can email the PDF right on your phone. Ooh, well, so we don't need a scanner anymore. You just kind of hover the, uh, the phone over the document, square it up, and uh, it takes the picture of it, essentially, turns it into a PDF. Uh, with all the data on there. So uh, that's a great app as well. Uh, five bucks, one-time fee, and, and, uh, and you're good overall. So that's, uh, that's what I got there. Definitely saving lots of time versus uh, doing these dumb uh, scanner ones on a one-by-one -one basis. So let me throw these in the chat. <clears throat> so who wants to go next? Who's got something else they want to uh, start to share? <clears throat> up on my uh, browser too, if you like. If you like, I can go next. All right. Do you want me to share my screen, or how? Does, or do you just want me to speak about it? Sure. I'll, I'll share my screen, so you don't. You don't have. To okay. Know. Okay. Good. Um, so I have. I guess I'll start with the. Um, my accountant app, and I do QuickBook, but I do the self-employee. And the reason why I decided to do that is because um, I do, my husband um, does Uber on the side and we, I have to do the self-employment, um, I do my self-employment taxes for tur through TurboTax and you get it free. So that was one less expense I had to do. And the self-employer one is a little less complicated than, yeah, than what you're speaking of, um, right at the top where it says self-employer. Yeah. So if you do your turbo tax through, um, if you do your turbo tax, you'll get the self-employer one free. Um, so that one was one I did. And then for, for the design one, like your RIPA, I do Canva. Canva. Okay. Yep. And that's 120 a year. Yep. And I do that. My business is an employer brand business. And um, I consider myself a culture architect as well. Um, my um, graduate major was organizational psychology. So I'm mixing the HR world with the marketing and understanding the employee's behavior. So I do, I work on Canva a lot for the social media branding aspect for, for employers mm -hmm. and how to engage employees. And it's very similar to RIPA, it's just more of a choice at this point. Um, so, and I am familiar with RIPA as well. Um, another one that I use is- one, uh, I'll make one note, uh, Giviana. Uh, yeah. So Canva doesn't have things like, I don't think you can do videos on there, can you? I think you can now. Can you? I, I know they have some like animated stuff, but they don't have music, I don't think like that. No, they don't have music, no. No, they don't have music. Um, yeah, so that might be a better option. Um, I just tend to do the uh, marketing part without the video. Haven't I haven't discovered that one yet. Yeah, I would say the difference between the two is Ripple does the uh, you can do the slide share videos with different pictures 
in and music to it. Um, yes. And was more yeah. of a, just a flat file, you know, here's a graphic uh, to, to get out there. Yes, yes. Also for project management too, it's called Hello ba um, Baze, B-O-N-C-A-I. B-O-N-C-A-I? B-O-N, I'm sorry, S-A-I. I'm sorry, I can't even read my own here right now. I'm sorry. S-A-I, Hello Banzai. Yeah. And this thing does everything when it comes to project management um, and consulting. It's sixteen dollars a month for a low one. Um, I only use the sixteen dollars a month because I don't need the accountant part because I have free quiz um, QuickBook. Yep. But um, I do. They have the client profile. I can send contracts and proposals back and forth with my clients. Um, it's a timekeeper. It's Everything you can think of, um, keep forms and makes forms, is one of the cheaper ones instead of um, Hub, what's the other one, HubSpot or something like that. Um, that's like the most more expensive one and everybody uses that one, but you know, being a freelancer, you gotta watch your money. So that's the one I use and I do everything on that. Um, does it have digital signaturing? Does it have digital signaturing? I haven't tried it yet. Haven't tried, I, I, it has, I must have it because I haven't tried the contract part, but I can send it to the contractor. Yes, okay. and, and, yeah, and, and it comes back and it shows me the process of where it's at. So you must be able to, I just haven't used it yet. I'm in my free, I'm in my free trial space right now. So I haven't um, did everything, but I am gonna move forward in the next couple months for to do this and what else does it do projects yeah time tracking time yeah invoicing again i use my quick um the quick i do both sometimes um it keeps notes when i speak to people um everything everything you could think of um yeah and there's two versions there's one for 16 dollars a month and i think there's one for 20. And I think the 20 involves the accountant and taxes part. So one top shop. Very nice. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Who's next? Melissa, what do you got? Sorry, I forgot I was muted. <laughs> Um, so some of the ones that I like to use, um, I use Vengage, V-E-N-N-G-A-G-E, -E, and um, they have a couple different options on there, but they do, there's always a free version, um, but I use it to do a lot of my infographics because I do a lot of, for my consultation, I do um, strategic analysis. Um, and data analysis. So it helps me show really quick charts to a lot of my clients. Mm -hmm. um, it's very easy to use. There's a ton of templates. Um, I've had a lot of really good success with it. They're easy to customize and I don't have to fiddle around with Word, Microsoft Word or um, other template and pamphlet makers. You can do decision trees. Um, it's just a good way to make data uh, just visually more appealing and accessible to a lot of my folks. Um, so I really like it. I've had it actually for a handful of months. And I mean, I can make stuff in a matter of, you know, 15, 30 minutes um, and make it look really good. And um, do you have here? Um, I actually just have the uh, premium the business version doesn't quite like match what I need. Um, and I really only needed the premium. And a little insider tip, if you get the premium, um, I also like to use the Honey app um, in association with whatever browser I use because they run a bunch of um, applicable discounts for you. So if you're not using that. That's a shopping app thing? It's a shopping app, which is kind of a silly thing to bring up, but um, 
it'll actually give you, I think I got a couple of months for free, actually. That brings up a point I just thought of, like, uh, any tool you're trying to buy out there, uh, search for a coupon code first, like on Honey or like Refundly. Yeah. Like, yes. Like, will be on there as well. So if you search, like, you know, Ben Gage promo code or mm -hmm. Canva promo code, you'll find stuff out there you can try. Yeah, Absolutely. I did. The, I did the same thing for Bonzi too. Um, I got it was. I think it's regular twenty dollars a month. I got it. I got it for sixteen. So. Yeah, especially for us freelancers, every every dollar counts. So. Yes. <laughs> then. All right. Anything else, uh, Alyssa? Uh, yes, I'm sure that probably a bunch of y'all already know of it, but I actually use Slack quite a bit. Okay. Um, yeah. to communicate with my clients. Um, because I can give each of them their own thread and name the project and have the people on it so I can keep all of my projects together and keep track of who's working on what um, in one place. Um, and it's free. Um, the version that I'm using is free. But, yep. Um, if you are more into doing like video-based projects, I actually do enjoy using Discord. It's typically more for the gaming industry, but it has um, an audio chat component where if you need to do like a quick meeting that also has um, the text capability that Slack has. Uh, yep. Um, but it's it's also free. It's, it's a good way to keep up to date with some things. Um, and it's something that I recommend for folks who are doing a lot of remote work. If you want to stay connected with your team in a way that you can chit chat um, throughout the day as well, um, instead of sending emails and waiting for them to respond to the email or sending something over to Slack, um, you can actually set aside some time to talk, which is nice. Yep. Um, and then I also, for social media, I use um, Hootsuite because it, Basically, it's just an app for your phone, and you can push out a bunch of stuff all at once um, to all areas of social media. Um, is uh, and, delivery? Um, is Hoops Suite free, or do you pay for it? It's free. So the version that I use is, uh, well, How many, the version uh, that I have is, is the free one, but I know that you can upgrade. How many uh, social media accounts can you have on the free version? Uh, that is an excellent question. It's I, three. It's three. Yeah. Yeah. And I really only have the the three that I operate with uh, most often. Um, Fortunately, I have like multiple ones. That, uh, <laughs> so I, I yeah. pay probably fifty bucks a month for a delivery. I'll show, show you deliver it here. I'll yeah. What I'll which do. one do you use, Chris? Because I'm it's researching one too. Yeah, there's, there's Deliver It, Hootsuite, there's Buffer, that's the other one that's good. Mm -hmm. um, this is Deliver It, so uh, you can see I've got multiple social media accounts on here. Um, yeah, if you need a lot, that's probably the better bang for your buck, as opposed to Hootsuite, if you have just a few. Um, those SDs, I push out stuff, you know, for, so like for HR Lancers, um, you know, I'm, I'm curating freelancing articles off Google, I'm pushing those out. I'm uh, pushing out all the jobs, of course, and blog posts through RSS feeds automatically. So I don't have to do that manually. Um, so I do that for some other clients and a bunch, I run a bunch of sites so, uh, that I own myself. So um, it's definitely a big part of um, automating my marketing through a type of tool like this. And you can set it so that you know, you can, you know, uh, I can only push out, you know, once an hour or once every three hours or you know, whatever it is. You can really set a lot of filters in there and, and things like that. So it's pretty, pretty powerful if you do a lot of uh, social media marketing. Yep. Those are all the, all the big ones that I have. Okay. Who wants to go next? Yeah. I'll go. It's Tanya. All right, Tony, you're up. All right. So adding on to Hootsuite, um, I actually reached out some, to some of my friends in digital marketing. I was trying to come up with a way to find relevant content so I could post something every single day on LinkedIn. And uh, he suggested 
Feedly, F is in Frank, E E D is in dog, L Y. It's free. Yes. And put... yeah, you click on it and just kind of find what you're looking for, what maybe project you're working on or job, if it's engineering, engineering, whatever it might be. Uh, you click on there and it gives you some articles and then you can click on it and then you can post through Hootsuite to your social media channels like Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, what have you. It's awesome. Very cool. Because sometimes you have a hard time thinking like, okay, what do I want to post today? Yep. <laughs> yeah, Delivered has a curation tool in there. You just do a search on the keyword and to give you some blogs that it finds, you can, you can then push those out as well. So mm -hmm. this will take some more. Um, let's see, the other, the thing I use uh, for my applicant tracking software and my basically my CRM is called uh, Big Biller through Top Echelon. I, I would think most people have heard of it, but maybe not. So, you know, Top Echelon has a network kind of like what we're doing right now, but if you go on their exchange, they do charge you for splits and all that kind of stuff. They do take a fee. Uh, mm -hmm. And it costs like $300 to sign up with their network. But I do have friends who do that side of it. But the side I do is called Big Biller. And mm -hmm. <clears throat> recruiting software. Yep. Recruiting software. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it is fabulous. It is $70 a month. You can add your candidates. You can add your jobs and you can add your companies. They do trainings all the time. Uh, their customer service is unreal. Um, I've been using them and I've heard of them for a very long time, but I'm finally now down in it because I'm doing this. But all I ask is if you do go join, if you'll just please, please, please mention my name, I actually get a free month, of $70 for every referral that I make. And I would really appreciate that during, you know, this time. And sure. the, the person to contact, his name is, um, hold on a second, Tori, and it's, I want to make sure I spell it right, Tori, T-O-R-I, uh, Tucker, hold on, I want to make sure that's right, Tori Tucker is the, no, that's not it. I can't throw, find him. Uh, throw a link to it in the chat there. Along with the I name. will. I'll, I'll find him. So it's, it's a guy and um, he, he's wonderful. So I'll, I'll find him and I'll, I'll put him in the, in the chat. And it is so easy to use and it's the best $70 that I spend all month long because it keeps me organized and it's all the bells and whistles, like reminders of when you talk to someone or you made a marketing call or whatever and it sends you an alert. So I've used all the huge ATSs like Taleo and, and uh, Taleo and all that kind of stuff. Sorry, my granddaughter's name is Talia. <laughs> So anyway, I've used all the big ones and I'll be honest with you, like it never really did all the things that I wanted it to do because as you're going along, you're just moving and you need like something to flash in your face to say, you know, I need to call this person. So it, it does all of that and it's, it's, it's wonderful. Okay. There you and go. The last thing I have is, um, I can't really share my screen to do this, but I went to, and y'all, I don't know if you can help me pronounce this, but it's, I'm sure you're seeing it out there. It's 5RR. Does anyone know how to? Oh, Fiverr. Fiverr? Five, yeah. Okay. So I saw this guy's really cool, like, uh, signature line that had all the uh, buttons that you can push at the bottom, you know, to go to your uh, social media. And if you go out there and you ask for that service, it was 15 bucks one time. And there's some other things out there. I can't remember the name of it. It's like HR stuff on here I've seen before. Yeah. I also thought about becoming a fiber seller actually. First. Yep. See the email signature? That's what I'm talking about right there. 10 bucks. Which one? And yep. And if you do 15 or 20, it's like they, they will continue to edit, edit it like unlimited. And so it's, it's a freelancer out there who does it for you and they did it really, really quick yeah. and you look fabulous. Yeah. I use that for my, um, I'm actually in the process for my slogan as well as my logo. I'm going mm -hmm. back and forth with somebody and the slogan was $20 for 10 and my logo was 40. 
Uh -huh. So I, yeah, they, they work pretty quick. I was really pleased. Yeah, they do. I like this one. I didn't even think about the signature. Thank Isn't it for cute? Sharing it. I yeah, know, right? I didn't even think about that. I'm like, anything, like you could get anything from here. Anything. They come up with a company name and everything if you need it. Yep. Yeah, I've got my podcast openers on here. Um, I've got some Marty done on here. Um, if we're all books out. Yeah, I definitely use so, it. So it's pronounced Fiverr. Does, Fiverr, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's around for a while. They're actually a public company now. Do we have that? Although it's still oh. not making money yet. Oh, I know. The, the other one was called uh, Wise Stamp. I heard about that from a, a seminar that I went to. Wise. And Wise Stamp. And I went to them and they do the same thing, but they, they char like it charged more. Like for me personally, I, anyway, so there's another one right there, but I, I chose the other one just because it was less expensive. Oh, that was great, uh, great tips. Yeah. Yep. All right. Excellent. You're welcome. Thanks. Um, and I'll, I'm gonna, we'll do a blog post after this, kind of recapping all this stuff for hflanchers.com next week. So okay. um, we'll uh, make sure we get all these links out there. Who, uh, who wants to go next? Anybody else got something? Feel free to chime in. This is Scott. I apologize. I'm more of a freeloader than a freelancer today because I'm, I'm still in the corporate world, but I'm trying to learn to you know, potentially do a little something else. Also, also, my daughter's just opened a yoga studio, so I'm trying to get some ideas for them for their marketing and so on. Nice. Who else? Uh, Matt's on the call. Matt, where are you from? Say hello. And Lynn's here too. Feel free to say hello. Tell us where you are. Um, oh, while we're waiting, um, here's one more tool. Uh, Snagit. Anybody ever hear of it? Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Probably one of my go-to's every day. I use it every day, basically. I take screenshots. I do little screencasts, videos out from with it, with it as well. Um, it creates little, you know, I do a lot of little uh, cool uh, uh, twist on your on your uh, the images that you do. So really great tool. Do a little reflection on there. Love this tool. I'm using it for 50 bucks and it's yours. Um, it's uh, definitely one of my go-tos as well. Throw text on there. Or in here, I got a whole bunch that I use. Um, first one is just for organizing all the stuff that I want to read. I use Pocket a lot and it is uh, getpocket.com. Get Pocket, okay. Get Pocket, yeah. That is a fabulous website just for aggregating uh, articles. You can tag them, you can organize them, and it works out very well, it's very helpful. Um, I use Harvest as a time tracker. Uh, they've got a free version, and if you organize your, your uh, tasks correctly, uh, the Harvest time tracker is a really good one. Um, it's the Harvest time tracker. Yep. Um, it's a really good one. Um, I use uh, Scanner Pro for uh, as a it's a really great phone app for just scanning things. Um, I found it was a really good investment. It integrates well with uh, some things. I use OneNote for keeping things organized. I use uh, a combination of OneNote, Asana, Google Calendar. Um, it's it's a pretty good combination, and uh, Scanner Pro works pretty well. Um, I use Expensify for keeping track of expenses. It is uh, it's good, and mo the thing I like a lot is that it lets me scan in receipts. So if I need to bill a client, uh, you know, uh, for something like that, uh, you know, for expenses, it really is very helpful for making expense reports. And the last one, which uh, believe it or not, is uh, is actually really great. It's something called Croissant, um, and I'm actually gonna uh, I'm gonna put my referral link um, in the chat box uh, just to make it um, just for you know to offer that to people. But basically what, what croissant is, is this is uh, giving you hourly access to co-working spaces. So let's say for example, I'm meeting clients, I'm in between clients and I need a place to sit down and work, don't wanna do a coffee shop, it's too loud, whatever. Um, I would, I'm actually able to go to any number of places uh, throughout the city and I, you know, in New York, this is really great if you're in any kind of big city and they are global. 
So you can go, you can go to places all over the world. Uh, when I was in Tokyo, I was able to do that. DC, Melbourne. Um, I could just go to uh, co-working spaces that do this, and it's by the hour. And so you, you can get a plan that gets you, you know, X number of hours per month. It rolls over. It accumulates. So you know, if you're if you're using it less, more, um, that I've absolutely been loving. Nice. Um, and here's the pricing here: thirty-nine bucks. That's the cheapest, I guess, ten hours a month. But the good news is it rolls over the hours. If you don't use them, you can bring in a guest. So if you need to do meetings, uh, you can bring a guest in. You can book conference rooms there if you don't want to just meet a client at a coffee shop or something. So the, there's a lot of good access there. And um, I found that that's a great supplement when you're mostly in a home office. Nice. Excellent. And like I said, um, with, my, uh, with um, the link I gave you, you can try it for a week for free. See if you like it. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely on their, I'm on their $40 a month plan and it, it's, it's been everything I need. Nice. Well, once the uh, country opens back up and get the people you can add that link. So, we'll see this one. All right, it's quarter of five. Anybody else got something else? We can start to wrap this up, I guess. It's a lot of tools. I must have at least... 15, 20 tools here at least. Um, so, and uh, I definitely learned from the crowd already. So, good stuff. The only other thing I would recommend is if you're not utilizing Google Analytics for whatever your page that, that you have out there, I highly recommend it. It's very customizable. And if you like seeing um, traffic and conversion numbers on your website and seeing how things kind of roll out. It also has data that you can download. Um, I'm a huge fan of data and numbers. Um, and so for me, it's really valuable because um, it can also tell you if you need to maybe reassess um, how you're marketing, um, and which is really helpful where if you aren't driving traffic in the way that you want to, um, you aren't seeing the information that you feel you need to um, clients wise. For me, it's been really helpful. Yeah, I've uh, put it on some of my client employer sites as well. I've, I've uh, pushed it on there and um, I'm actually gonna do a, uh, a Google Analytics uh, little kind of one hour course um, on my Right Tech Live channel, um, probably next month. Um, kind of breaking down how, how it works and uh, you know kind of on a one-on-one -on -one level um, but um, you know I'm a pretty I'm a pretty much of a data geek myself uh, I love stats love looking at stats and uh, seeing how the site's doing and, and things like that so good stuff there's another one called stat counter as well which is a kind of a simpler version of Google Analytics that's free statcounter.com um, it's a kind of a simpler version of Google Analytics, not as uh, uh, detailed. Um, I, one reason I like it is because I, so I both on my websites, I use Stack Counter and Analytics from Google. Um, and uh, Stack Counter is a simple app. I just log in, I can see right away how many people are on the site. Um, and it gives me a quick view of everything. When you go to Google Analytics, you're bombarded with uh, tons of information. And I like Stack Counter because I just want to hear, I just want to see the number of visitors, the page views, and you can actually, it dives into actually, you can see here, it tells you what browser they're on, what content coming in from, uh, what screen size they have, so it's on mobile or desktop, um, even what ISP they're using. Uh, so it gives you a little more detail around it. You can find that in Google Analytics, but it's much more hidden. Uh, another one of my tools I use. All right. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and we're just gonna wrap things up here. So just nine of us here. We had about 22 registered. And uh, did you guys get the, uh, I sent them an email a reminder. Did you guys get that maybe a half hour before the show started? I'm just curious. Yes, did. I did. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I did as well. Good, uh, I'm still learning Zoom info. Um, I just bought stock in Zoom because it went up like $50 this week. So there's a good stock tip for y'all. <laughs> uh, it's everyone's using it. Um, but um, yeah, 
and supposedly you can do uh, green screen stuff in Zoom. You can like push. Does anyone want to try that? I tried it last time, it didn't work for me, but. Um, I've seen folks use it in, yeah. in meetings I've been in. It's under um, Zoom references, I believe. Let me see, let me try it. Uh, virtual background, here we go. Let me see. It says my computer doesn't meet the requirements. It's a brand new Mac, so I'm not sure why it's not working. Um, let's select the green screen. Green screen, let's try it again. Oh, here it goes. Hey, I see that. Yeah. Oh, my image is backward though. And they look kind of weird, so. You have to be wearing a different color than your regular background also, otherwise all of you will be, you'll just be a floating head. Oh yeah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. It helps if you have a green screen, so. so. Yes. I have, a, I have a gray curtain back there. I can see the green. All right. All right, guys. Well, uh, appreciate you all joining. Um, I'll give Matt one more chance to say hello. Tell us where you're from. Um, and again, next week, or two weeks, April 9th, will be the next show with Suzanne Lucas, just finalizing those details. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, hang in there, everybody. Um, wash those hands. Thank you for what you're doing for us, Chris. I appreciate it so much. Look, oh, by the way, before you guys go, what else do you guys want to talk about on shows like this? Give me some ideas. Anybody? I think my biggest hurdle, like probably everyone else, because we're small, we're competing with the big agencies. Like, how do we set ourselves apart in that um, it, it's difficult because I already know, I mean, I named my company Rare Find because I'm rare, I'm different. And I really care about my candidates and I'm glad that I'm small. I want to stay small and I'm prideful of that. But, you know, a lot of the bigger companies have the vendor process that you have to go through, which I've just been staying away from them. I've been focusing on uh, small to mid-sized companies, like under like even a thousand employees, just because hopefully they'll have a conversation with me. Uh, but let's say that you do want to get into the bigger companies, you know, with everything that's going on right now, I've been trying to sell small business for a long time because that's where I come from in my life with my family. But getting through that and saying, pick me, pick me, capital one, <laughs> You know, like I, I'm really good at UX, user experience recruiting, and they have a lot of those openings, but how do you get them to look at little old you? And um, that's, that's where I'm at. And I, I think that I'm kind of stuck on that and, and that breakthrough of coming up with those ways to, to get in. Gotcha. Yeah, I, uh, you know, marketing yourself in this space is um, definitely takes some skill sets. And I do plan on talking about that more. I mean, thinking about creating like a course maybe around it. Uh, that would help, right? Um, I have some, uh, some ideas of some people out there who might be able to help with some of this stuff. So I'll be inviting them on. You know, we had uh, Jennifer on last week talking about speaking. That, that's one way, right? Um, when Suzanne comes down, she'll talk about blogging. That's the second way. But it, it is about kind of establishing yourself first and uh, uh, making a name for yourself. Um, I, I invited uh, one Lancer a few weeks ago, and um, she, her name for company was HR H HR R and B something like something like that. It was very clever. It's like HR H R N B or something like that, um, uh, and it was a take on like Airbnb or something like that. It had a really clever name. And I talked to her on the phone before she actually joined the site, um, and she was just starting out as well. So I know I, when I saw that, I said, like, okay, she she gets like. Um, marketing a little bit, right? Because she had, she created a name for her company that was memorable. That's one small thing, right? But uh, we'll be talking about a lot of stuff going forward, Tanya. So uh, definitely uh, stay tuned for more of the stuff. And I, I will try and get more uh, marketing oriented as well with some of these shows. Thank you. I think maybe uh, tools for remote folks, those of us who are, um, not on site. Um, I'm in a pretty rural area and I know that I've got a lot of tools in my back pocket that maybe other folks could benefit from. Um, and I'm sure that other people have tools that they use as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, we can do that. Uh, we talked to, because there's a couple on this show, like Slack, you know, of course, Zoom, which we're on now. We can go over some, there's a bunch of different video options out there. We can go over some of those probably. Um, and uh, I'll talk about some of the different messaging apps as well. Um, there's a project management tool called Trello as well that people use a lot uh, for remote. But um, yeah, in fact, I'm actually doing a podcast with uh, um, an HR consultant who's talking about remote onboarding uh, tomorrow. So if you subscribe to my Rec Tech podcast on the channel, you can check that out. I'll be out next week, I think. Um, and I'll ask about some different tools that she uses overall, but uh, it's definitely something that, um, you know, I was just reading a thread today about remote stuff. And uh, my theory is that when this is all over, like 10% of the, of the workforce that used to work in the office is gonna be at home. So remote workers are gonna see like a 10% boost uh, after all this. And um, people were arguing about the percentage on that on, on the Facebook thread there, but. Uh, we're definitely going to see a this is remotes works uh time in the sun here um, and we're not going back after this so and i think a lot of companies are realizing they could do more online that they never thought they could do so there are today they're actually a company today are just completely remotely distributed a lot of them are tech startups and things like that uh, and they've been doing that for years uh, i know like wordpress for example is is a famous company that has a couple hundred employees all around the world. They have no offices. Um, and uh, there's a guy on Twitter on LinkedIn called Chris Hurd, H-E-R-D. He's been writing a lot about this stuff on LinkedIn lately. If you want to look him up, um, he runs a uh, kind of a remote um, provisioning company that helps get your employees set up remotely uh, with some different hardware, I guess. But um, he's saying that you know remote is never going to be the same after this, and I tend to agree with him. Hey Chris, did you are you a speaker or have you been a speaker on Talent Net Live with Craig Fisher? So I know Craig very well. Um, I've never spoken there. I've been to a few of those events, um, yeah. not really, but uh, yeah, I know Craig very well. I saw that. And, and okay, that's saw, yeah. Our common connect. <laughs> Got you. I've been around the block, so I've pretty much yeah. everybody out there. Yep. And all the uh, servers and stuff, so um, everyone knows me. So. All right, guys, it's 454. I have a pizza truck coming from my neighborhood, so we're gonna go, not together, but uh, get pizza in my driveway. And uh, wish you guys well. Um, Melissa, we're gonna talk afterwards. And uh, everybody else, I'll see you in a few weeks. And feel free to reach out, kind of on LinkedIn, email me, uh, Chris at Rectech Media, throw it in the chat here, kind of questions. And uh, tell your friends about uh, HR Lancers. We're up to about 869. Uh, registered users so far, um, so almost almost at a thousand in less than three months. So, want to get to that thousand mark, uh, hopefully by the end of this month or early April um, overall. So, again, thank you for your time, and uh, we'll see you in a few weeks. Thanks a lot. All right, Scott, good to meet you. Oren, Javiana, Tanya, Adam, Alyssa. Good evening. Bye. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Yep, same here.